media share queue they're being um they're being moderated they're they'll play whenever i get back i'm gonna go get the flavor of gfil that i thought i brought up here but tonight we're doing a media share stream one penny is one second minimum two dollar donation so minimum video length Fuck you. You don't have to request a video that is longer than 120 seconds, or no, 200 seconds. Minimum donation on my stream is $2 because chargebacks otherwise are in the negative. I mean, that's how it was in 2017 when I made that my minimum donation. So I don't actually know if that's true anymore, but minimum is on, on my stream is $2. It's, it's, I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change it. You can request a video, any video you want, but. Um, hi. Thank you for the four months. Uh, yeah, one second equals one, I mean, one pet. is 300 bucks um i don't care if it's a is it a is it a person of color saying it flumpy is it a black guy saying the n-word if that's so that's fine then i don't i don't care as long as he's not saying like err you know if he's hitting that if he's hitting that hard r maybe 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 don't let it play um if it's like speed the youtuber the youtube live streamer don't do that then don't 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 no not him okay Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell a black guy he can't say it. I mean, hey, hey, buddy. During the launch period of the 30 series, many of the third-party card makers utilized the wrong type of resistors and a horrible fucking arrangement of power delivery fets, which led to a lot of dead cards. Ask him to talk to fucking Asus; he might be able to get a free replacement. Computer sponsor. It's it's his sponsor PC. I was just helping him. Yeah. Just sponsor PC. It's not a big deal. Yeah, lean version twenty. What are you talking about? G Fuel? Are we still thirty percent off right now? I think we have a thirty percent off code active until like the end of today. Let me see. Woo. Uh, yeah. Uh, until the end of today, chat. We have a thirty percent off code. If you want to do, do that, otherwise, there's four videos in the queue. Yeah, go ahead and start approving mods. I will pause. I'll pause. Where'd you get a jaw heart? Ooh. Hold on. A this is not a you laugh you lose for the record this is not a you laugh you lose um i mean we could definitely do that at some point but i have no idea what i would lose other than not laughing i would like to like i don't know give you something a hand job i don't know make it one now okay welcome back to another you laugh you lose because uh, i will now not laugh i like money thank you I will now never laugh. Emoji man. I'm so fly that you might not understand. They call me the emoji man. The hat master shirt in the pants. They call me the emoji man. Thankfully that one wasn't funny. Thankfully I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> uh, pass. Oh no. Pass. Pass. Oh, no. Pass. 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 Because of the spike. Smash. Because of the spike. Pass. Because of the spike. Pass. He likes the spike. Pass. 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 Smash. Pass. 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 That's not legal. Pass. Pass. That's not legal. Pass. 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 And the queen has tits. Pass. 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 Smash. Pass. Pass. 
He's not scared to say it. I would have said, I would have, yeah, me too. But no, my friends were like, ooh. Pass. 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 Smash. Oh. Smash. Oh. Pass. 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 Me too. Me. Oh. Smash. Pass. 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 Fair. Pass. 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 Smash. Why? Pass. 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 Wait until you see his evolution. Smash. That's a clitoris. <clears throat> Smash. It has a clitoris. Pass. 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 He fumbled on Onyx. Pass. 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 Smash. Oddly enough, pass. 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 I fuck Mr. Mom. Pass. 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 Bullshit. Bullshit. A lot of those, big L. Markiplier. As a person. Not funny. It's been given the platform to be an influencer. I realize that with that title, I have a job to inform people on the racial inequalities in the world right now. How come when it comes to the... This is a fucking drip, man. You crazy? The Nugget Jeans? Hi, I'm Weast, and today we're gonna do meme ASMR. We're just gonna watch the memes together, and we're gonna have our laughs on the toilet. Because that's the only place anyone looks at memes. Let's get started. So, sometimes this life is, pretty is cock and I like ball this torture without the cock and balls. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's funny. I really like Sheba's. I'm tired of hearing his voice. Did I used to sound like that? Did I used to sound so uh, feminine? I see why I faked my voice then. Munchables, boy. Thank you for the brand new Prime sub. Saber, thank you for the 10 months. Some Raven, thank you for the 3 months. Noah, 4 months. Zumi, 5 months. Strangey, 28 months. Um, eBay. eBay whiskey short. What is this? I thought this was a you laugh, you lose. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting for like there to be a joke or something. This is definitely not a joke though. This is just a legitimate video from Geo's 
Spatial World, the YouTube channel. Least, if you ever want to groom your viewers, I'm always here. Mods. What do I look like? A fucking Minecraft streamer? What up, Dean Ten Dollars? minutes. No, no. Ten minutes. Think about what you just said. How did teach Kyle to taste them? Alright, I have better at a school cafeteria. Well, he asked for that one. Peacock 45 here, and the year is 1887, and I have a shotgun. <laughs> Let me prove it. Hello, hello, hello. Weast I am requesting to buy another month of a Twitch sub. Good job on another fraction of five dollars. It is a fraction. <sighs> Thank you for the ten months and reminding me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no media share in the queue, so we can sit here and look at each other for a little bit. Fraction is the science word for fart, right? Yes. I was acting. Yes. Howdy. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Thank you for the two bucks. I'd be willing to lower it if I met more media share. I would be willing to lower the um minimum donation. Hey, Cardage, do you know Candy? <laughs> good one that was a 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 really good one I like that one it's a good one okay okay, okay. tipping settings here we go uh fart settings no 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 fart settings minimum amount bing one dollar one dollar minimum donation. Holy shit. Jesus. Suggested amount, one dollar. People are gonna start donating one dollar. I'm gonna get notifications for one dollar. I'm gonna be like, thank you for the... Dollar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a quiet ass donation. Has this ever been the case? I have never lowered my donation under two dollars. I have never, ever, ever had a donation amount smaller than two dollars on my live streams because the chargeback amount has always been a dollar and something. Yeah, this is this is a, a first time ever occurrence. Let me go to the media share uh, page and set it there as well. It played again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Minimum tip request media one dollar a. Saved. Stop. Stop. Every time I restart the fucking page. What up, ding dongers? Holy Kiss shit. Yourself. Yeah, me whenever I. Yeah. I'm gonna, um, like, change the. Bucks. Fuck you, Weastman Media Share Mondays is the only day I can give you money.
I like this song. It has a, it has many elements. Obviously, the uh, the large bass drums are symbolic of the forward march of an army. But I think it's I think it's worth noting that the flute, in a way, denotes the spirit of the soldier. You know, that tuba, uh, it, it really, it just screams pride. Perhaps it's a sousaphone. See, now this is an unexpected development in this song. I did not see this coming. You know, typically you don't incorporate um, a diddly-doo or a doingle into your beat, but... Clearly, the OSD designers over at Nintendo thought they would do that for We Play Tanks. And it works. It's symbolic. This is what the American dream is really all about. Wow. It goes stinky. Really stinky. The day crescendo on its way out as the parade marches on farther down the street towards victory. And then there's that cat. Welcome back to Today Now. Stay with us because coming up a bit later on in the show, we're going to be visited by our diet expert who's going to show us how to lose weight by reducing our bone density. But right now, we got one of my favorite guests here in the house. We got our putting green set up. We got a golf tee box here. And my friend and golf pro, Jordan Ritter, joins us. How you doing, big guy? How you doing, Jim? All right, I'm great. Now, what do you got for us today? Well, today we're going to learn some tips for playing against a guy when you're having an extramarital affair with his wife. Oh, that's one of the most common problems a golfer faces. It certainly is. And if you play a lot of golf, sooner or later, you're going to be out there with some guy whose wife you're now on yeah, the side. Yeah. Could be a co-worker or even a best friend. Let's head on over to the T-Box. All right, let's get going. Now, the first toe is the most important of the day because this sets the tone for you. So what you want to do is when you're squaring up the ball, you want to remember two things. Uh -huh. One, you want to keep the ball at the instep of your left foot. Right. And number two, don't mention his wife by name. Okay. Refer to her as your wife or something like that. Make it seem like you barely remember who she is. Right. Which is probably <laughs> the case in a couple weeks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're going to put the ball back in my pocket because we don't want to take any of these cameras here. <laughs> oh, now, you don't want any sudden it. movement in your swing. You no. want it nice and smooth. Nice, nice and, and smooth. smooth. Sort of like right. you're tiptoeing out the oh, back door of a man's I'm house sorry. just as he's Learned coming home from work. Chats. Oh, I like that. Hey, why'd you give it a try? Oh, sure, absolutely. Here, let me see. Now, if you're novices out there, just remember that if you start to feel guilty, it's not your fault that he can't satisfy his own wife. Right, okay. So if it's not me banging what her, it's dingovers? somebody else. <laughs> hey, you're getting the hang of it. All right. Come on, let's hit the putting green. I can barely keep up with you, dude. You know, I played a lot of golf with Lee Trevino, and I learned a lot from oh, him. Oh, I bet you did. Turned out he was banging my wife for the whole time. Oh, that must have been yeah. tough, huh? Well, I slashed his tires and I moved on. <laughs> okay. Now, the trickiest part here is being on the putting green, because right. two things are going on. What number one, you want to make the putt. Sure. And number two, you're starting to think that this guy might be catching on that you're the reason his wife keeps buying lingerie but is always too tired to have sex. Well, then what do I do? My dad and I played a lot of golf. I love my dad. Oh. And then he died. Oh, that must have been tough. See what we just did there? Uh-huh. Building what? camaraderie. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you drew me yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and I got another one for you. Yeah? If you're really feeling confident, okay, mm -hmm. Just say to him, hey, I'm fucking your wife. Just make it sound like a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he thinks it's a joke, then he probably won't think it's true. Yeah, right? Hey, yeah. I'm fucking your wife. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm fucking your wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right, Jordan Ritter, thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you, Jim. He'll be back next week to uh, give us some tips on how to shake down caddies for their overheard stock tips. You join us for that. Oh, we're going to head back over to Tracy now. She's got some tips on things that ladies like to do. Wait. Okay, it's fine. Where it's did fine. he go? Holy shit. I like that. It's like 
It's like anime. Yeah! I'm trying not to laugh. You are going down, you Sputnik! What? Go back. City is out, but still rocking that designer choker. She knows what she's System about. Is that smile, she really don't give a fuck. Ficarita. They referred to them as fitties? It was. <laughs> Spongebob straw. emerged victorious in the brutal graphics Mods, run a battle poll. royale Should we skip throughout this the video? 1990s. Very impressive. But as the company entered the 2000s, they embarked on a journey to do more, moving towards an entirely new kind of microprocessor and the multi-billion dollar market it would unlock. In this video, we're going to look at how NVIDIA turned the humble wow. graphics card into a platform that dominates one of tech's most important fields, wow. artificial intelligence. But first... Let me talk about the Asianometry newsletter. If you subscribe to the channel, you what? should also sign up to the newsletter. What kind of Check out videos you might not have seen before and rewritings that I never bothered to turn into a video. You can find the link to the newsletter in the video oh, description below. Oh, it's his below, thing. Never mind. I thought it was like a sponsor. Asianometry.com. As of right now, you can expect a new newsletter every Thursday at 1 a.m. Taiwan time. A newsletter right, pod. Back to the show. In 1999, Nvidia released the GeForce 256 graphics the card. The GeForce. Its processor had 17 million transistors and was fabbed by TSMC. Most notably, when Nvidia unveiled the GeForce, they called it the world's first graphics processing unit, or GPU. A new term that must have struck people has a bit of clever marketing. At its introduction, Nvidia defined the term GPU to mean a single chip processor with integrated transform, lighting, triangle setup, uh, clipping. It speaks for itself. Fitties out, but still rocking that designer choker. Why do I have to see those fitties again?
Like I'm over, I'm over here anticipating like a fucking crash any second now. Ooh, he's jumping out. Oh, and he <laughs> he cracked. I just laughed. It's not a you laugh, you lose. Fuck you. I don't know how else to react to something if I'm not laughing. What did he just do? Did he just get out to check to see if it was okay? Bro. You're joking. That was the radiator. Fucking. And now the engine's gonna start overheating. And just bonk someone else? Oh, he's just trying to get them off the road? Or what? What's his game plan? There goes one of your tires. That's awesome. Hey, stop real quick. I need to ask you a question. Like what? That just works? There's no way this just works. GTA in real life. Who stops? It actually works. Why was her door unlocked? I mean, the thing is though, he just went felony charge, felony charge, felony evading, felony fleeing, another felony charge. Oh, here comes a couple. Oh, 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 a couple of other felony charges. Get in that one. Steal that car. Yeah, steal the car. Oh no. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, we get shot. That'd be funny if he got shot. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, stop. Stop chasing me. Waste yikes. I don't care. He stole a he stole a vehicle with a child in it and then crashed it. He could have endangered an innocent child. Hope he gets shot. I hope he gets shot. I'm not a politician. I don't need to be a fucking unbiased judge. I I'm I would shoot this man if I were a cop. <laughs> yeah. How many lives how many how many injuries has he caused with all these wrecks? He, <laughs> meth arms. Classic meth arms. <sighs> Aww. <laughs> Couldn't even get over a fucking fence, bro. Damn. Unfortunate. L. Cringe. Cry about it. Neither of those words are words, Tyler. Well, it ain't no bluff that life is tough for a gourd out on the range. But for all the woes in the life he chose, he's never seen to change. Yeah, this is like the fourth time I've seen this video because of chat. They really like Pumpkin Cowboy. I'll let it play this one time, but we're not watching it again this stream, and I'm skipping it in the future. I'll allow it this once. Realist Gerd, thank you for the 27 bucks, dude. Uh, minimum donation is one dollar now, Chad. Probably not permanent. Okay, I have to talk about this because it's our God damn it. So I'm gonna go and chat. Someone said if if you put a potato in a chair and made a react to this video, it wouldn't it would be the same. I, I, I don't know how to fucking commentate on something if I'm not allowed to laugh at it. So I was trying not to laugh at the video and then this fucker in chat over here and like Potato? What is it, 2013? Why did I take offense to being called a potato? God damn it. It's a little bit. 
I'm a little fucking if bitch. She ran away, she'd have to stay, and she might not survive. So we waited by her side all night for the scoundrel to arrive. I did get trolled. I did get fucking trolled. His mind was awfully groggy when he finally arose. This is such a brave story. He touched the ground and sadly found the thing that he had feared. While he slept on there, the moonless night, his cow had disappeared. But a moo came from the nearby field, and the cry was harsh and chill. Cat Cowboy held our hero's cow, and it looked like he could kill. Pumpkin Cowboy spoke in hurried yells as he pleaded with the cat. He'd give him all his wrench and let him let Such a clip that cow the cat got startled and the knife began to slip and then they crashed into each other cat had a pumpkin flesh and blade and the knife fell to the arid ground and the scoundrel stood then swayed cat cowboy crumbled to the dirt and pumpkin kneeled beside and cow stood vigil next to him as pumpkin cowboy cried. Hello, I like money. It had to be he done. He his hat at cowboy cat and stood without a sound. And when town folk came to cheer his name, our hero wasn't found. Some say he started wandering for greener fields to roam, but he didn't bring his cattle his horse stayed there at home. The very next morn, the calf was born, the town's own pride and joy. And the folks will regale you with a gorgeous tale. Oh, that was a banger. The tale of a pumpkin cowboy. Where did he go? He rode off. He rode off, unable to live with the guilt he carried of the life that he felt he, sh he shouldn't have taken. Into the sunset, with nothing but his thoughts and his cattle. That's actually kind of mid for BDG. That's not mid. That was that's not mid. That was not mid. That was great. That was good. That was fantastic. Zeus! I've made it up. It's revealed to me in a dream. Sorry for not catching streams. I keep forgetting you stream. Oh <laughs> fuck you too, dude. <laughs> We've seen it. Do you plan on making more Coom Caves video or you quit due to excess and demand? There's no excess and demand for Coom Caves. No one likes Coom Caves. No one even watches them. There's a lady in my head who calls me Stud Muffin. Please leave me alone. Oh shit, I'm sorry. No, he won't. He won't do it. Check it out! Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I brought a real sushi lady in to make real sushi sandwiches for us. Hi. Sushi toilet Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. She's friendly lady. What do we have here? The building blocks of shishi. Shishi meat, peaches, and guacamole. Wasabi. What's up? Wasabi. It's not that hard to let other people from other countries talk to you. If you have peaches and it's just all peaches and cream all the time, it'd just be a dessert, you dungle. I love guacamole, it's my favorite. What's up? 
Oh, it's really hot guacamole. <laughs> wasabi. I hate wasabi. Ooh, me one, me one wasabi. Holy guacamole, yeah! Uh, <laughs> stay there. Don't move. 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 I heard I, a dead body in the distance. Okay, I'm bal I just balanced a crate on your head. Hey, what is this? What is this? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> it's very bad. Stop. What is this? I don't even know what's happening. I thought this was CSGO, but it's... No! Are you talking about that? You said Mercy is scared from Overwatch. <laughs> Gmod funny moments. I probably would love this as a... Holy shit. I pro I probably would have loved this. <laughs> as Holy shit, bro. A younger boy. <laughs> Something about it now is infuriating. I'm not sure what it is. That sounds like me, Canyon. Oh my god. Maybe it's just Oh my god. Tips, things you can do with soap, or ways to use soap. Buy soap, soap, get it from the store, or just rent it. Take it home. Wash your house. Invite some friends over. Talk about soap. They're not interested in soap. That's too bad. Move to Canada. You can wash Canada. Soap, it's already His clean. friends play Valorant. They don't, don't like soap. Soap comes from the natural process of evolution, or if it was a gift from God. Hmm. Knock, knock, it's the soap gods. Quick survey about the soap. How are you liking the soap so far? It's okay. That's good. We're going to make more of it, except you'll like it more because it'll taste better and be more addictive. What? Let's go to Africa and find love in the jungle. Found it. I also found some soap. Part 2, Advanced Techniques. Teleport some soap. Teleport yourself and leave the soap where it is. Try this one. You can walk 100 miles and the soap will be there when you get there because you sent it through the postal system. Oh no, it's a natural disaster. I wonder what would happen if you took soap and combined it with soap and merged their properties and characteristics. It's something to think about. What? Anyway, I hope you like my video. No, I didn't. You know, I didn't like your video. There's a cicada right outside. I don't know why he decided. Huh? Eduardo. Eduardo. <gasps> Kylie, man, is he gonna tick to you for taking that beacon thing? Are what? you happy to see me, Eduardo? Uh, sure. Because I'm really happy to see you. From the first time I saw you in the lecture hall, I felt an attraction. This should have been my sexual Did awakening. You feel it too? Well, I don't know, sort of. I mean, I mean this voice you acting. could stand to put on a couple of pounds. A good-looking guy like you is really hard to resist. Kiss me, Eduardo. I want you to. Okay, we just Back met. Back off, Eduardo! Why? She's legal. She's a ghost! <laughs> This is the invention of winter peeing ace for us, man. This guy, is I, have, I love this fucking dude. He ever, every
every single invention he, he just he has some invention that cuts off your cock or rips out your asshole or fucks you to death he has some fucking invention that cuts you in half and he's like the design very human very natural very human put it into the iron ring when peeing it will automatically turn on the heating function let us feel warm when we pee in winter very easy to use Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? It burns your dick off, chat. It gives you a secondary circumcision. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna put my cat on the mic. Normal cats at any time of the day, I guess. Okay! Oh! I don't. Tr I don't trust this guy right here. I don't. He says he says some suggestible things. I don't want him repeating on my stream. I'll. Okay! Imaging Edge webcam. Oh, dude. I feel like that's one of those guys that just, you know, just screams really loud. Oh, God. The onion. An update to a truly inspirational story we first told you about earlier this week. I'm talking about Brian Pete, the fat boy from Richmond, Virginia, who successfully averted ridicule by swimming, get this, with his shirt on. Amazing. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Brian, who's been wow. fat since birth, was tired of being made fun of at the community pool. So when it came time to hit the water, Brian devised a plan to keep his upper body covered. That makes sense. Now today, the Onion News Network has more on that fat little boy's big fat discovery. A supersized welcome to you, my friend Brian. Thank Thanks you. for being here. You bet. So Brian, for our viewers who may not be familiar with our story, tell us what happened. Well, I kept my shirt on while I was swimming. Yes, you did, but it was a lot more than that because that shirt shielded you from the ridicule of others. It made them completely unaware of your oversized stomach and a pair of floppy breasts. Isn't that right? Yeah, no one laughed. Wonderful. So, Brian, at the pool without the shirt on, the children made fun of you? Yes, I'd usually get made fun of because, well, before the shirt. What kind of names were these kids calling you uh, at the pool? Meathead, Fatso. Hard butt, well, the well. Porky, hog, fat ass, double wide, butterball, those sorts of things, right? Yeah. Brian, how mm. did you come up with the idea? Well, I went into the bathroom stock and normally would, mm -hmm. and I right. just decided when I was about to take off my shirt, I'm just going to keep, keep it on. Can you tell us a little bit about it's the smart. shirt itself? It is smart. Well, it was one of my white t shirts. I usually wear them as undershirts because I sweat through my button down. Just a just a normal white right. T-shirt. Well, right. but right. when it got wet, it was like a protective shield against the laughter mm -hmm. of the other kids. At the it pool. was. Yes. You were able to disguise mm -hmm. uh, being a porker and uh, avert uh, that sort of uh, treatment from your peers. I'm just glad no one tripped me into the when I was at the pool and no one tried to throw my towel into the water or anything like that. That's it's just truly an inspirational story, Brian. We're so glad to have you into our studios in person. And guess what? We're sending Brian down on the street with our weatherman Steve Merck, who's got one of those big fire hoses he's gonna wet him down right there on the street in a white t-shirt brian it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> he's just what <laughs>
Don't try me. <laughs> Trolled. Real? Is this real? Or is this fan animation? Oh, it's it's not real. <laughs> God damn. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I like that. That was nice. That was good. That was fun. That was nice. That was good. I like that. Yeah. They caught him and they didn't even What's look. your name? My name, oh, let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused because, uh, you know, like we're supposed to believe in the ministry, right? So is the, is, is the church and state supposed to be separate? I'm confused because I never went to school, right? Is a confused person get a resolution? I don't understand. You see, when you go like that, Right? You have a cross, two sticks, right? And that's how I felt when I was in Waterloo. Because when I walked in Waterloo and smiled at people, they treated me like a vampire. They used the cross and they went like this by not smiling at me. In Toronto, hey, hi guys, you know me, Steve Spiros, easy going. Those who know me, I'm a nobody. You understand, and you can't kill a person with no body. So, why am I afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of the boogeyman. Who's the boogeyman? You figure it out. I'm getting out of here. I'm going back to Waterloo where the vampires hang out. And I'm going to wear my sunglasses that night. You know why? Because women show their tits, have short skirts, and then they feel violated when I look at them. Why? Because I have sunglasses on I, and I'm you? weird. Uh, I'm from Humberside. I'm sorry if uh, I okay. made a fool of Humberside, but all those people who called me a sleepwalker, okay. I woke up. Now I'm going back to sleep because I'm going to be committed in an isolation room because I'm going to go back to the ministry oh. and allow them to perceive me as I am a fuck up. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Toronto the good. Look at, look at this square. It was a shithole when I worked here. Now it looks like New York Manhattan. Where are the bums? There's no bums here. No bums. Toronto doesn't have bums. No bums. But Waterloo, they're creating bums. They created me. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's the church. Talk to the Pope. He knows everything. The Pope. I had it. I'm going to die. How can you die when you're dead? Oh, wait a second. I'm going to be crucified, right? <sighs> I'm not going to raise my voice because I'm committed to the Lord. I love you. I love you too. Um, in other news, a psych patient has escaped again in Toronto. Your life literally the authorities are currently looking for is him. as valuable as a summer ant. I'm just gonna stump you. You're gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna okay. seal up all my cracks. You're gonna keep coming back. Why? Because you keep smelling the syrup, you worthless bitch ass nigga. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You serve no purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Your purpose in life is to be in that chat blowing a dick daily. Okay. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and an ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trap bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%, with 1,000%. <laughs> the fucking text on screen. Fucking PowerPoint transition.
<laughs> Holy shit! The second half! We're back! Thank you, Red Red uh, Red Oyster Cult. That's one small step for man. <laughs> Where does he get? Motherfucking weebs on this motherfucking military base! For two heavy weapons, guy. You may not go any further. My employers have grown rather fond of their anime girls. And, well, uh, wait. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. I see now. This camera angle is shit. What? I need you to take better camera angles. Okay. Oh, 
the fuck is happening, dude? C as well. I feel like there's enough room for ending C. God, that was so funny. That was a, that was a great fucking video. Dude, was that funky? It was all his art style and shit. There is no surprises? Damn. It's Sino. Oh, okay. Sino. Cool. Japan. It does sound like a video. I look left, I look right, it's all cement. Me whenever. Ah! Ah! I like 15 year old girls! Uh, <laughs> this is, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean whenever I said do you see what I mean? I said I don't trust this guy. I don't trust him. I don't I don't I This video is age restricted and is only available on youtube.com. So, meet the cum zone. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy shit. Boy, do we have an inspirational story for you. Yeah, be prepared to be motivated because uh, we're going to meet Peter. Hedgemont. Now, when he was Today only now. 31 years old, so young, doctors had told him that they discovered a cancerous tumor on his liver. Oh. Now, for most people, that would be just devastating news, looking forward to the years of painful surgeries and treatments. But not Peter. No, Peter stood up to the doctors and he said no. He refused to accept that he had cancer. And now Peter and his wife, Rhonda, are here this morning to share with us how he bravely <laughs> overcame his cancer diagnosis. Welcome to the both of you. It's nice to be here. Good to see you, Peter. Now, when most people are diagnosed with cancer, they just give up. But you, you decided to fight. Six different doctors told me I had cancer, but I didn't listen to any of them. How did you find that courage to ignore them? I, I made this promise to myself to never, ever look at those x-rays and well, I never did, Jim, yeah. and I never will ever. Well, that, that's amazing resolve you have because they yeah. try to shove them right in front of that's your face, right. those that's doctors. That's right, that's right. Here, take a look. Yeah. If I'd listened to those doctors, I'd probably be in a hospital bed right now. Getting treatment. Instead, I'm here with you guys. Well, that mm, takes so much wow. courage. Wow, because those hospitals, boy, they can be negative yeah. places. Oh, yeah. You go there to get sick. Mm. <laughs> that's right. It's yeah. such a heroic <laughs> thing you're doing, uh -huh. Peter. Yes. <laughs> no, he's, no, I'm not a hero. Uh, the men and women who actually have cancer, they're the real heroes. Peter, I think you're a hero. No, I don't see any expiration date written <laughs> on here. <laughs> and he's kept his sense of humor, too. It's incredible. So, Peter, from what I understand, you, you've just completely lived your life after the diagnosis as you did before. No changes in anything, not even your diet? No, I didn't take even a single vitamin, not even medicine, because, you know, Medicine is what sick people take. Exactly. Right. Rhonda, and he must not, uh... be such an inspiration to you. Yes. 
Right. And I understand you've been going to hospitals uh, with him to visit other cancer patients? Yes, yes. Well, Peter talks to all the patients. He talks to anyone who's diagnosed with cancer. He just says to them, you don't have to listen to what the doctors tell you. Just that look must, at me. Must be such an inspiring story for yes. them to hear. Wow. Peter, what kind of... Um, Peter. Peter? Well, that's all the time we have for this segment. Now, Peter, Rhonda, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, we're going to take a little break right now. That's right, coming up. We're going to be ignoring Iraq some more. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> we're going to be ignoring Iraq some more. Dude, honestly, God bless Peter. Peter's so brave. He's probably fine. He just, he's tired. Oh. So, how was your day, Foxy? Doctor, turn off my boo womp inhibitors. But but Raiden, that's that's insane. That, wait, wait, boo boo womp. What the fuck are you talking about? You know the the boo womp sound from like SpongeBob. It goes like boo womp. Is that like an acronym or, or like? It plays when they're sad. Boo womp. I just <laughs> I just don't know how that's gonna help right now. Do it. Ah. <laughs> Hello, I like money. The prequel. The prequel, let's fucking go. Joji? Hello. Was that Joji? I like money. Ooh. Was that? Was well, that... hello, delicious. Uh, don't be intimidated. My friends call me a wholesome chungus. Do you know when the narwhal bacon's? <laughs> Maybe you uh didn't recognize me. I'm an admin on r slash chonkers. Why you no know date me? <laughs> like the meat, nice ass. Have an updo. Sorry, I can't call the fire department right now. I'm taking pictures for r slash wall that sucks. Oh, your boyfriend's a doctor? That's cool. How much karma does he have? Uh, my grandpa fucking died or something. Uh, here's the Nintendo 64 he bought for me. Oh, uh, I'm not unemployed. I post memes for PewDiePie. I haven't left my room in three weeks. You're breathtaking. Uh, like Keanu. D do you know Keanu? I will await your DM, m'lady. Let's see what we can do. Hey, you recognize me again? We just talked. No? Yeah, I we, only we made about $20,000 off my last video, so things are kind of rough out here right now. Yeah, what do you think of my new merch? I spent all night working on it. Oh, sorry, I just uh, don't respect anyone with 
less subscribers than me. Have a good day? <laughs> of course I will. I'm a millionaire. <sighs> okay, seriously. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I'd like to shout out all the little people that helped me get here. Uh, I'm just kidding, I don't see them speak. Oh my gosh, your dog died? That's so sad. Can I make a video about it? Ah, I just made 50 grand off of an ad. Why would I leave a tip? Ugh. Why is this so hard? Donate to end world hunger? <laughs> Are they subscribed? What do you say we head back to my place and base. watch a couple more of my videos? Actually, base. Are they... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I only donate to foundations who are following me on their main Twitter account. What is this? Oh, dude, it's a Stardies one through five. Oh, okay. This shit's crazy. I'm going to go full screen for this because it's visually awesome. If you guys know anything about this project, it's just like fan animation project. Uh, it's the Warhammer 40k universe, but um, this is animated by like a single guy. He got officially hired by Warhammer. That's crazy. That's cool. I mean, this is the most promo I've ever seen for the game. Like, this is so crazy. Fuck Games Workshop. They killed the fucking project. They acquired the rights and then immediately fired the OG dude. Never mind. They acquired the rights and fired this guy. takes your fan project, steals it, fires you. But this shit is really badass at least. It's sad that happened to watch this video. These guys are, or they look important. They fire 40 millimeter rounds from their submachine guns. 40 millimeter rounds? Are you serious? It's the size of... 40 millimeters, I guess. That's a big fucking round. This shit goes crazy. I love this fucking scene.
dead. And then now he's dead. And then, and then, yep. So fucking sick. He's not even phased. His eyeball fucking exploded inside of his helmet. He's not even upset. Not even mad. This shit gets weirder, too. Know nothing about the Warhammer lore. Doesn't matter, though. Not necessary. Big ball? Yeah, big ball. Mmm. Is this the ball guy? Yep, ball dude. What you doing, ball guy? Thinking? About balls? Shut up. Sorry. I'm just like, big ball. Oh shit. Is he okay? What are those? I don't remember actually. It's been so long since we've seen this. I don't remember foot. Gold man. Large gold man. Cool. Big ball. Gentlemen. The ball does not want us to approach. Vine Thud sound effect, dog three base boosted 2022 real HD. What up, ding dongers? Oh shit, that motherfucking data spike. Downloading the ball sack data. I have no idea, Magikarp. <clears throat> what you think about ball, dude?
I could make a joke about the uh, parasites on my testicles getting sucked in as I absorb their energy. I don't know. That's pretty funny. Hello? Shorty, what the fuck? <laughs> Stub.
You don't grow the word. Hit the rolling stone with the rolling on. Jack portfolio. So you long Um. And if I tell a bitch again, checks and on some next level shit. Never been. Give me game, I'm celibate. Element. One foot out and one foot in, the challenge is challenge get. Be clear, I could fall back seven years and still there ain't no one ahead of me. Consider it a blessing if you're gonna check next to me. Five star general, OG seven. Born like Edelman, born that celery. Check that chance like the U.S. Treasury. Ah! Okay. Thank you for sharing LeBron James rapping. Thank you. LeBron. The video will be playing now, soon. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Oh, the means. Hmm, good means. Hmm. I will take that ass. My mind, tell me no. But my body, my body, tell me yes. Somebody. Oh no. I am full of sandwich. Help me go like extra sick ass. Ugh. Oh, we've seen this one. I think. No, we've all seen Who Disengage. No, we've seen this one. This one's definitely, um. This one's like years older, though, isn't it? This one's from 2020? Oh, okay. This was an Area 51 meme because of the Area 51 meme in 2020. I just thought it was just, oh, he's going to Area 51. It's always kind of been a meme, has it not? I've been great, Jelly. Thank you. Me. SCP-173. The goat scream was funny. Time to go! Da! The booty will not wait forever! Mm -hmm. Next merch drop? I have no idea. I don't have um, a, a time frame for that. Oh.
No! 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 I don't want to say the second one was funnier because the meme was the memes were more current. It just it just literally just was funnier. I don't know. Out of your friends, which are you? Truck freak crazy ass. The fire! I've not heard about Kevin the dog in a while. He's fine. Ah, I need a medic bag. Fire on bullet! There's no shit like that. I'm wrong. I'm coming for the fire! <laughs> oh, an egg redemption to skip. So when I was in third grade, someone someone used their channel points and skipped. Unfortunate. This thing called FNAF suddenly blew up, and we were all insanely addicted to it. There was just something about its gameplay design, combined with its cryptic story, that made it very appealing. And we would spend all Reese's talking about FNAF, watching theory videos, and begging those who were blessed enough to have FNAF 1 on their iPhone 4 to let us play it. It was akin to a play, because pretty much every elementary schooler was a fan of FNAF, and in contrast, pretty much every high schooler couldn't stand it. As such, they would tend to troll us and just generally play around with our signature Russian child's short temper in any way they could just to get a reaction out of us. One day, an 11th grader walked into our class and proudly exclaimed, <clears throat> FNAF sucks. We were absolutely livid. This wasn't the first time high schoolers tried to humiliate and trigger us, and usually we just scream and shit our pants for a few minutes before getting distracted, but this time uh -huh. it was different. We seemed to have hit our limit and our rage right. could not be contained any longer. This was the last straw and we had to fight back. So we spent the rest of the week visiting nearby classes and asking people to I can just tell I, it's always easy to tell when someone's using Sony Vegas. There to join so our cause. Finally, like we managed to assemble an army video. of kids from first, second, and third grades, which amounted to about 20 people. And bed. so, armed with slingshots, water guns, and little rubber bouncy balls, and weaving a beautiful flag, which consisted seconds. of a bunch of pencils taped together with a piece of paper with FNAF crudely drawn on it with a pink sharpie, we marched to the 11th grade class. 11th graders in Russia spend most of their school time preparing for the upcoming exams, and for that they require maximum comfort level. Because of this, 11th grade editor? classes tend to grow. Wait, does that guy not edit his own videos? It's all he. How did those videos need. You see, Jack? I have a dream that one day we'll. What the fuck was that? That was Booam. Anyway, go on. Ugh. Uh, that one day we'll all. Okay, what gives? That was boing. This is bink. This one's bonk. And this one's bling. I even got the Hell's Kitchen sound. It was a bitch to get the rights to it. It only plays when I'm under extreme stress, though. It malfunctioned. But why are you doing this now? Of all times! You're a government man presenting stupid ideas. And this is filibuster. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. That sounded a lot cooler in my head. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I can't watch this. Get over here.
me what the heck is going on! 13 months. Kissed you. Trying to buy him down for you. I didn't expect it to be that effective. What kind of response are we talking? 100 percent So everyone's been affected, whether they have a SIM card or not. And we get the added benefit of wiping out the kingdom. Not yet. That's gradually turn into communal apartments. One of the ways this manifests itself is this? with them locking the door to class so nobody could just Who come in this? and announce and ruin their concentration? Personal space? Either way, the door was locked and that was a big problem that we needed to solve. Now, the leader of our army thing, the king of our crusade if you will, was a guy from my class named Yarek who started out in first grade as a top student and teacher pet, however over the years has deteriorated into a huge troublemaker and epic meme. You can accept that one, Mod. Okay, let's go. Ah, affirmative. All clear here. All quiet. Holy All right. shit. Alright, let's do this. This guy's All movement. Right. Well, fight like a man. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come to Papa. Hang on, I heard something. Good job, team. Good one, good one, sir. Good one, sir. Good one. He's got the bomb. He's got the bomb. He's got the package. Hey! Hey! I hear something. I hear him. I heard something over there. I heard them. I was worried for a minute. Oh no. Oh no! Please defuse the bomb, sir. The bomb is down. The bomb's at A. The bomb's ticking at A. There's the bomb. There's the bomb. There's the bomber. There's too many of them! Shot. Owned. That was a close one. Whew, that was close. Who wants some more? Get out, baby! Yes! Yes! Defusing, defusing bomb, defusing bomb now. Bomb site secure. Bomb site secure. Ready for you to defuse the bomb. Bomb site secured. Bomb site under control. Where's the bomb? 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 Oh, uh, sir? The bomb? Time is running out. There's not much time left. That's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing happening over here. Oh god. I'm our, uh, what the fuck? What is this?
I've never heard of or seen that. Sounds slightly familiar, but okay. Thank you for sharing a movie trailer ad with me. Thank you for paying money to show me a piece of media. I'm Whoa, Gardener of the Decade. I just got fucking ear fucked. I Usually they're long enough. Try and do it without bruising too much. Okay, today I'm going to be you, 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 wow, wow, you, you, wow. I don't like to use a 14 inch peanuts because the nuts tend to drizzle white down the balls. This is made from recycled cheese. This is our lalazis, this is our lalazis, this is our lalazis, this is our lun. This is where we need a decent sized task as all this comp by the end of the season is going to be a solos mam for all of a D. The only, the only, uh, meme, the uh, only YouTube poop meme that I really, really enjoy is reversing the first half of the word into the second half of the word, so it sounds like sauce. I like, I like to that. stuff an awful That's lot funny of to me. That's the, the only thing that I like. An absolute avalanche of jizz. Get the top done. All Yeah. Ugh. Last month, the Taggart family of Cedar Mill, Oregon, set off a firestorm of controversy after petitioning the state for the right to end the life of their 13-year-old brain-dead daughter. Jean Ann Wharton takes us beyond the facts. Beyond the facts. Caitlin Taggart was a beautiful, lively girl mm. who loved laughing and playing outside. But all that changed at the age of 12. <gasps> Caitlin slipped into a persistent vegetative state, confining her almost entirely to her bed and Facebook. She doesn't even have basic motor functions anymore. We literally have to drag her to the car to drive her to school in the morning. She's totally unresponsive when we talk to her. Her eyes just roll back in her head. Caitlin, honey, it's your dad. With no hope that their daughter would ever recover, the Taggarts decided to seek legal permission to end Caitlin's life. It is the most difficult decision we've ever had to make, but we just keep reminding ourselves that the real Caitlin is already gone. Mm. That's just her body texting. But the Taggarts soon found themselves at the center of a heated controversy as euthanasia opposition groups mobilized to stop her. These protesters say the groans and exasperated sighs Caitlin sometimes makes prove there is Ready hope for recovery. Out. But the Taggart's physician, Dr. Kevin DeBacker, disagrees. Ew. The sounds and movements that Caitlin makes are caused by random synapses firing in what's left of her brain tissue as a response to atmospheric changes, like it being cold in a restaurant or her mother bursting into a room, even though there is a little thing called privacy. Dr. DeBacker <laughs> believes euthanasia is a humane way to end Caitlin's suffering. We give her <laughs> one painless injection and that's it. Her eyes may flutter a bit, or she may murmur, are you for real killing me right now? But then her struggle will finally be over. Right. Back okay. at the Taggart home, okay. the family so it's is pretty already humane. preparing for life without Caitlin. It's hard, but we know we're making the right decision. Her organs can help other children. Mm. We can give her eyes to someone who would actually use them to read a book. I have cramps. And I don't even... What would you tell other parents? I want parents out there to go home tonight and hug their kids and be thankful they don't have such a piss poor attitude. For Beyond the Facts, I'm Jean Ann Wharton. <laughs> okay. Three days ago, Caitlin's life was legally ended. Caitlin, by the way, was the first Oregon resident to undergo the procedure since 2009 when a dentist had his receptionist euthanized after she was unable to perform any function other than eating all the candy in the waiting room. A recent study from the Centers for Disease Control finds that over 100 million children are being exposed to harmful levels of stupidity in their own homes. Hear the debate about secondhand ignorance on the next In the Know. Mm. Mm. Those are great. This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Okay. okay. 
This is Javi, and we're taking a look at the Big Firebird EX01. Nice. This is a sex toy. Play it. It's not a sex toy, it's just a fucking hot Gundam. EX01 definitely looks like someone's ex. You know what I like doing more than drinking my problems away? Watching cool videos. That's why I use Surfshark VPN. This virtual private network that's available for pretty much everything is gonna let you browse the web through a secure and private connection. The ad is integrated into the video. I can't skip it. <sighs> and if you switch your location to a third world country, you can watch region locked movies on Netflix. My personal favorite is the Michael Bay Transformer series, especially Revenge of the Fallen, a beautiful movie that made a Beautiful amount of money. Ah. You could even switch locations to find better online deals during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Spend, spend, spend! Ah. Check out the link in the description and use promo code Jobby to get 83% off and three extra months free. But from today till tomorrow, there's a special Black Friday deal that's 83% off and Four extra months free. And if Surfshark VPN doesn't make you feel as relaxed as I am, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Excuse me, sir. You can't be here if you're not wearing a mask. What? Yeah, it's just with everything going on, you know. Yeah. I know. And I also know that I have my goddamn rights. Your health is not as important as my freedom. <laughs> I don't need a fucking mask. <laughs> but you do. Don't you? <laughs> Five years and a hundred bucks later, you'll notice that Big Firebird is just the epitome of class. Oh boy. I do appreciate them being so in your face about their intentions, which of course is pissing off Twitter. What? Here's a bunch of stuff we'll cover later, a card with some lovely artwork, and you get the figure herself. Oh boy. Any fan of Transformers with at least two brain cells will see a resemblance to the character RC, who by now should be familiar to you. And if that don't ring a bell, you better ring that bell. This figure actually started as a straight up third party version of the famous Fembot, but sometime within that lengthy production cycle, Big Firebird decided to drop that beautiful G1 styled head, which I assume was an attempt to completely sever that connection with the source material. Totally original design here, guys. <laughs> Instead, we get this generically cute anime head. Now you might find the lack of expression unsettling, and in response, you should tell her to smile. I'm kidding, of course. Rip her fucking head off and replace Patch it with another that. one. Think of the five like months. Flumpy, think I of the would call months. this a normal smiling face if she wasn't trying to sell me her bathwater. She's only sticking out her tongue because she's 
thirsty. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, I can't listen to this guy talk about hey, this toy anymore. Up. I can't. I just, I just can't. To buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tie. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right. We'll fuck your wife. Because it's Big Bill Hell. You're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right. Challenge pissing. How does it work? Oh, if you shit. can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, straight you up. get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Go Big to Bill Hell's car. Fuck you. Oh, filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of fuck Maryland. You, Guaranteed. Fuck you, Baltimore. Thank you so much for the 29 months, guy. No. To get started. Uh, the meme army. Ah. Oh, guys! Guys, 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 What's going on? What, is, what, is, what the hell just happened? Uh, it was supposed to explode. See, like, this rope. I don't want to watch Gmod funny moments. No. Today I'm going to show you what Instagram No. You guys are wasting your money. You know I'm gonna skip these. What is this? Cool. I like the art style a lot. It's pretty good. Is this a meme? I think this is just a whole scene. This is... Uh, spoilers. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta skip that. Uh, you, you know you guys could send memes, right? Just because it's like, oh, I get a, it's a dollar, it's a hundred seconds. You don't have to send something a hundred seconds. You could send a three second meme that you like if you want. You don't have to send a whole... You know what I got? I mean, you can, feel free. Like, I know you wanna, I know as a consumer, you wanna get the most out of your money, so you wanna send the longest uh, video uh, possible, but, um, well, I mean, do, do you do you? You do you? Faster than electricity? Faster than electricity. I just realized that's, um, what's his name, Pedro Pascal? That's mentally delayed. Actually true. Actually true. Mandalorian. He has so many roles now that are just like, wow, I like this actor. He he's done such such good shit with all the roles he's done, I feel like. I hate knives. I really hate knives. I remember the scene suddenly. Something about a meat grinder. Oh, Tom Holland's a great fighter. I mean, he does look like Tom Holland, doesn't he? I know it's not, but doesn't he doesn't he just look like like 20% extra beef Tom Holland? Just like 20% extra. He's a large Tom Holland. Tom Holland would be a medium. Right, I for yep, I was right about the... Was that third movie any good, the one with uh, Rasputin in it? Was that any good? Because I haven't seen it and I didn't think I needed to see it because it felt like they were milking it at that point. You know what I mean?
Bro's balls got smirched. Yeah, I think uh, I think his balls for sure. His balls, maybe the rest of them, but definitely his nuts were in there for sure. Do you guys see? <laughs> Do you guys see? <sighs> Uh, I, I mean, listen, if my buddy asks me if I want to smoke with him, I'm always going to be like, yeah, sure. I'll smoke with you. Motherfucker hands me this. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Sure, I guess. Fucking hitting me the fucking. Frodo, you will take the ring to the mountain and cast it into the flames. I... <laughs> What am I gonna do with this shit? What up, ding dongers? I feel like an old ass man. Old ass man. <sighs> he calls it Gandalf. He named it Gandalf. Literally. I felt. I felt. I saw sparkles hitting that shit. A little bit of lightning on the tips of my fingers. Anonymous, thank you for the four bucks. Patch Tap, thank you for the dollar. Chris Slim Jim, thank you for the dollar. It's actually not a bad idea to donate under uh, Anonymous when sending in your favorite memes because, like, uh, I will make fun of them if they're bad. Did you do the evil wizard weed? It was definitely some evil wizard weed in there. Uh, yeah. But it was, it wasn't, yeah, of course I, of course I hit, I'm not gonna, dude, it's rude. It's rude to agree to smoke with someone and then to not actually. It's That's rude. I have a warning for you. We just got a hot tip. Hatsune Miku is in the area. Snake, you be careful. She could sneak up on you in any minute. She's a twin-tailed voice synthesizer android. I don't know how you're going to battle her. You've got to watch it. She has the power of a god. <laughs> and Intel tells me she actually created minecraft <gasps> that means she's really smart you be careful snake whatever you do are you listening anyway. well i can tell you something about that <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kai. Oh my God, she made Alice fucking Minecraft. Hatred. Yeah, I agree. All that exists. Save the 33 months, Kai. Darkness, appreciate it. vaster and more incomprehensible than our pitiful language can describe. Concepts that would shatter the mind of a mortal to behold. These gods want nothing more than for all to dissolve into chaos, the inevitable heat death of the universe where the infinity between all molecules separates us from any possible cohesion or understanding. On our way to that utter oblivion, why not have some sugary breakfast cereals? <laughs> it doesn't matter. These gods don't care. They don't see. They don't love. They're not good. They're great! <laughs> I need help. If I get high and then go to sleep, am I gonna wake up high? Yes. Well, not my problem. Yes. Do it. Yes. The centers in your brain that process and absorb THC so that it has the effect on you are not active while you are asleep, at least not in the same capacity. If you go to bed high, Hello. you will wake up high. I like money. You can, I won't do yeah. the whole vid since it's 16 minutes. Mm -hmm. Going to bed high means you wake up high. You, it, it doesn't feel the same, but you will wake up high. It, pause, it does pause. It basically pauses. Best sleep you'll ever have. Yeah. If you want a really deep, heavy sleep, you can you can sleep before you go to bed. Some people end up restless, but uh, like a, a very common reported effect is that you will not dream. Um, you basically time skip when you sleep high. Uh, you you your brain your brain's so fucking just that you literally it's not it's not active enough to dream. Uh, and yeah, you wake up groggier. Um, it's harder to get out of bed when you. When you when you get high before you go to yeah wait before i mean sorry you can sorry i meant you can smoke you can you can smoke before you go to bed not sleep you can smoke before you go to sleep oh, and shit. um sorry. you'll wake up high still it's just it's just how it goes uh i didn't get a lot of sleep last night champagne hot tub you know you know the you know the moves you know it is what it is i anyway has anyone else seen tony's cock dude i love tony the tiger's cock say your little spell okay I got this, Frank, Wayne, Griffin, just try not to fail me. Oh, 
Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. Big Mac, Whopper. Big Mac, Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac. Ow! My back. I funny tear meme. Uh, 2013 kick a group chat tier meme. So, Twitch is the world's largest live streaming okay. platform and owned okay. by Amazon. And while originally it was almost entirely for gaming, it's now expanded to all sorts of shows and IRL content, with top streamers averaging tens of thousands of viewers and special events and tournaments getting into the hundreds of thousands. That's true. With so much content, there's pretty much something for everyone. That's Whether true. you're a gamer, a musician, a hobbyist, or just a member of Twitch staff. Unlike mm. TV, streaming appeals primarily to a teenage and young adult audience. That's and having true. done some streaming myself, I've realized it's basically a place where high school kids go to learn social skills from adults who act like high school kids. Yeah. With this in mind, if you're a streamer, it can be hard to keep everyone well behaved in the chat. So you have to set some rules for everyone to follow. Personally, I think it's important to listen to the interests of the Twitch chat. So just like in a democracy, there's really only one good way to make rules. Do whatever the fuck you want till Jeff Bezos stops paying you. Right. Now, a big problem streamers have to deal with is their audience developing what are called parasocial relationships, which is when someone from their chat knows so much about them that they think they're close friends, even though to the streamer they're just some random viewer. You are and this is worsened because me. unlike traditional celebrities, nothing Twitch chat me. can directly message and donate to the streamer in real time, getting a reaction and making them feel more connected. And while most people think, bro, getting validation that way is kind of sad. It, just remember it's the same thing your grandparents do for you, right. so make sure you have some empathy. It's literally so I can tell you from the perspective same. of a streamer, by far both the best and worst part of streaming is the chat, because they make you feel like you're the hottest girl in the club. You know there's a chance that someone cool is going to come up and chat with you, but 95% of your interactions are, Here's five dollars. How old are you? It's exactly, it's exactly how it is. You know how cooking. Yeah, dude. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fuck, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! My god, did that smell good. You detect it. There's you no know, going and you tell me do things. I done running. G.I. Joe! <laughs> this? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Holy shit. Target acquired, Skipper. Seems he was getting ready to sneak away as the village suspected. You son of a bitch. You were sneaking off to Orochimama, weren't you? Actually, Skipper, it's Orochimaru. Shut up, Private Rico! <laughs> Fire stop! Fireball Jutsu! Bad boys! Rabbit, status report. We lost Rico. What? Oh dear God! We lost Rico. No. You son of a bitch, Kowalski! <laughs> now, Rabbit. I'm using the Rasengan, Skipper. Wait, wait, what? How did he learn those so quick? I don't know. fan of that one. Mun Daniel, thank you for the brand new Prime Gaming sub. Chat, I, I took a three week break like three months ago and we just cannot recover. I don't know, this sub number, I'm about to actually line up all of my subscribers and just go down the line with a fucking, uh, with a, with a, with like a cattle, like meat farm stun gun, just just execute you all one by one because it just, it, there's no point. There's no point. Just, you guys wouldn't care. I just don't know what else to do with you. I thought we could have like two or three thousand by now. I just can't. I can't. I can't get this number up. Maybe if I were, maybe if I were entertaining. 
every man knew as the captain did too. Twas the witch of November come stealing. Probably not. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the girl. If I showed my cock, people would subscribe. That's true. That is true. Afternoon came, it was freezing rain. In the face of a hurricane west. At least you can't read chat. What are you talking about? Can. This is a fun fact about Ray video. This isn't a music video. It's a Ray bonus facts video. It's Ray lore. Rest in peace to the 29 crewmen who died 46 years ago when the fits stank in Lake Superior, Lake Superior during the storm. That sucks. That's sad. I don't care. That's crazy that happened. Or I'm sorry that happened to you. Or I'm happy for you. I don't care. That feeling you get when your best buddy puts his hand on your thigh. And you feel your pecker head scrape against the zipper of your favorite pair of ripped jeans. Your butthole puckers. That's the feeling of driving a Ford truck. Ford. No girls allowed. <laughs> That's definitely a dog. Hello. I like money. This video is titled, This is My Dog, Part 3. Okay, nice dog, dude. Uh, and I gotta show this message that was just posted in Twitch chat. Store, the paradigm of absolute control. Oh my god. That's why we're just out here doing simple things, pointing out that we're meant to be in nature and be natural. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. Smoke too much funny brown mush. Weast. Give me Gandalf's goof googer. You want, do you really want Gandalf's goof googer? They have green looking skin and they run around screaming, We love Satan, we wanna eat babies. I have them on video. Hillary's in the creepy weird six stuff man. She sleeps have in I the seen same dog? room with that image. creepy weird woman who's mother has a foot over. Imagine how bad she smells, man. I oh, told her shot. and Obama just stink. Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. Sulfur. They're skinwalkers. I smell like sulfur. I smell it. Little rule vampire pot and a goblin. <laughs> Literal vampire pot belly goblins infiltrating the White House. He says this shit. You know, hold on. I have to actually talk for a second. He says this fucking shit, and there are people over the age of 45 sitting in their goddamn trucks in the morning, ready to get go to work and drive for fucking 14 hours cross country. Like, you know what? I trust Alex Jones. This man ain't afraid to say what's on his mind. Yeah, you know what? If you if I had a fucking high school level education and I was in my mid to late 40s, 50s, I would probably think, yeah, it's not unreasonable that vampire potbelly goblins can infiltrate the White House. That's probably just my general understanding of reality. Those things are real, right? Why, why do we talk about vampires other than the fact that they are just real? They are a real thing that actually exists. How do they end up in folklore? They must have been real. We love our Somalis, we love our Muslims, oh they're so good, oh they're so sweet. I was watching Fox News as I worked out this morning. The only way Alex Jones makes for good workout music is just, I get so angry. <laughs> for the cow to look at me and know something about me. Shit. 
Holy shit, dude. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. No. There's, there's, there's no way they started and finished a fight in the same episode. That's not real. That's not real. There's no way. That doesn't happen. Do you guys think we're alone in the universe? Yes. I think we're naive if we think we aren't. Jesus Christ, you guys. This is pathetic. It's 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm... Diet Dr. Pepper. Is this what... Is this... Sex for everybody. I'm gonna go to the other side of the office. Uh, oh, oh, shut up. Can you turn the lights off. I'm tired. Get me a regular Dr. Pepper. Fuck no. Okay, sorry. I follow this. This, uh, well, I don't follow them, but they keep following on my, on my for you page. It's like this this girl and this guy and this guy and this girl and these two other guys and this girl. And they're all poly and they all live together. And they only have like a three bedroom apartment. And there's like nine of them. And I just think about like the 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 the, the, the traffic in that house? The traffic? And that image reminded me because they posted a video of them all kind of cuddling. They were cuddling on their um like their pull-out couch. Like literally, like eight hundred pounds of human on this fucking couch. I'm like, what the fuck? Like the crunching of bones as you get up to go to get a drink. God damn. Anyway, I just thought I would share that. Share my opinion on that. I, don't, I have no opinion. I didn't, I didn't even state an opinion, did I? I do that thing where I just talk about nothing for no reason at all. I just talk about nothing for no reason. Eureka, it is one. Castles? No, 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 we're not like your friends on the other side of the office. Come, come. Brother Matrick, this is the one they call Jake. Silence, brother and eyes. Oh, he's... Skin is so clothy it's and gray. A, it's a sweater. Oh, I thought about these sweaters sweater. in the magazines. Hey, Walker. 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 Shut up! He speaks. It was nice to meet you guys. I'm gonna go back to my side of the office now, okay? Wally! 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 What's he doing? He laughs because you can't leave. <laughs> oh my god! Yo! <laughs> You know, that was groundbreaking content in like 2008. It really was. More fucking Kingsman. No, I don't, I, no, no spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. No, no spoilers. So you've just invented time. Come on, you can't send the, but all the fucking fight scenes from the new Kingsman movie. I haven't fucking seen it yet. I want to see the movie still. And now you guys have piqued my fucking interest. No, I'm sorry I wasted your money, but you're not going to send me just whole ass scenes from the movie. I want to. I want to watch it. I want to. I want to have a genuine. I mean, you know, I'm a real person behind all these fake reactions and the hundreds of dollars in my PayPal. You know. But, uh, oh shit! I just skipped that. Go back. Hold on. Go back. It was a. Oh god! It was an Exerbia video. Um. How do I? What? How do I? Okay, it'll be after this one. Sorry. It'll be after this one. It's short. Everyone point and laugh at ass face Magoo in chat. So you've just invented time travel. Well done, you clever little sausage. Let's go back and fix human history then. Before you leave though, why not pack a suitcase? Okay. But what to take, what to take? Uh, well, obviously shoes, toiletries, lighter, clothes, and depending on how your time machine works, how about a fucking spacesuit?
Because if your time machine works like a teleporter, what do you think is gonna happen when you push the go button? Let's say you want to pop just five hours back in time to breakfast. Well, the Earth is orbiting the sun at about 67,000 miles an hour. So you're not going to materialize at the kitchen table, you're going to materialize where the kitchen table will be in five hours, mm. meaning the Earth is now 335,000 miles behind you. And then it, you doink. And then it smacks into you and you die. All right, so let's say your time machine isn't a teleporter, but just- And that's even ignoring the fact that the Earth and Sun are also traveling through space together with the entire galaxy. And the galaxy is going at about 1.3 million miles an hour. So you'll probably just end up in interstellar space alone and dead and alone and dead. Yeah, but really, let's just say your time machine is- Well, I guess you could launch yourself in a rocket, fly out to where the Earth is going to be in exactly five hours, somehow traveling faster than the galaxy, good luck, then turn on your time machine and hope you got the calculations right so you don't end up materializing in the ground when it catches up with you. But really, okay, let's just say your time machine is- Yeah, but even then, what, you're just gonna rematerialize in the air, are you? What about the air you're displacing when you pop out of nothing? How dense is a person? Well, about 985 kilograms per meters cubed. Well, air is about 1.2 kilograms per meters cubed. So when you arrive, there'll be a huge compression of matter as you materialize, causing at best a bit of a whoosh noise, and at worst, a cheeky touch of, oh, <laughs> you know, nuclear fusion. So really, let's assume your time machine isn't a teleporter, but something friendly like a closed time-like curve, or a wormhole, or whatever. Great, uh, so go wrestle Genghis Khan, piss in Caesar's lemonade, Genghis. now, down to Genghis. business. From herein, we'll assume that A, the past can be changed, oh. and B, you're a sociopath. Let's see if we can nudge humanity off in a better direction then, shall we? Step one, don't be dead. Before going back in time, why not make sure you stay the fuck alive? <laughs> Pack antibiotics. Lots oh, and lots of antibiotics, true. especially doxycycline if you're going anywhere near the bubonic plague. True. If you run out of antibiotics, and under no circumstances do this unless you are in fact a stranded time traveller, right. you can make very improvised penicillin by leaving mouldy bread until it goes bluish. Also, if you aren't getting water from a well, or the rain, or an aqueduct, how about don't drink that shit ever? Boil all of your water first, then you'll need to filter it. Find something bottleish, add a layer of charcoal, layer of sand, hooray and a cheer, you just beat diarrhea. Step two, get clever. Before you go, read up on the basics okay. of steam power, harmonic oscillators, pendulum clocks, germ theory, modern military strategy, monarchic history, the schematics of the printing press, and all the card tricks you can stand. Use a mnemonic technique to commit stuff to memory. A good one is the person action object system. Let's say you want to remember the dates of, oh, I don't know, solar eclipses for no reason in particular. We'll aim for memorizing about 30 of them, so pick ones in the time and location of whichever era you're going to. Now you'll need to remember the date of the eclipse and the exact time of day. Now come up with at least 10 people, 10 actions, and 10 objects. So let's say we're trying to remember the number 326. Well, three in the people list is Winston Churchill, two in the objects is Wash, and six is a unicorn. So Winston Churchill washing a unicorn. 326 is easy to forget, but good luck getting that image out of your head though. Next, memorize any embarrassing secrets we now know about the monarchy of the time you're going to, uh. and congratulations you now have the foresight of a god. Now, pack some gold, and silk, and nylon, and a laser pen, and an air horn, and some special chockies because, yeah. Special Personally, chockies. as an English native speaker, I would wander back to 14th century England, because A, it's before the Enlightenment, and people will be way easier to bullshit, and B, further back, and there isn't enough metallurgy, and they'll be speaking Old English. But it's your time machine, do whatever. Off your fuck, then. Upon arriving, if I were you, I would rig your time machine so you can't possibly go back before whenever you've landed. Okay. Otherwise, if you screw up, you might be tempted to go back again and again and interfere with yourself, creating a shitstorm of temporal paradoxes. Right. Anyway, welcome to the past. It smells weird and everyone talks funny. So step three then, become a living deity. But first, remember that English is a bit of a work in progress and even just decades back from our own century and you'll sound suspicious. Stick to the right. hundred most common words in modern English and you'll hopefully be all right. Still, if you open your mouth in public, you're boned. Locate someone vaguely trustworthy, but not too clever. Give them some gold, make sure they understand your instructions. From now on, they speak for you. Next, you need to dress up in all that silk and nylon. Nylon won't be invented until 1935, and silk is still rare in Europe at the time. People will love that shit. Now, introduce modern music. The rhythms are so alien that people will immediately flock to it. My milkshake brings all the lads to the courtyard. They're like, it's better than yours, Jehovah. It's better than yours, I could teach you. But I'll check with the priest. Grand. Next, go out in the streets and get your spokesperson to announce the next solar crazy. eclipse, which you've memorized. People are gonna freak out a bit, so let off your air horn a few times, flash your laser pen about a bit, make a song and dance of it, yeah? When the solar eclipse happens, immediately announce the next one and claim it's you doing it. If people say, hey, you didn't do that, just say, y yes, I did. 
Teach your followers basic hygiene, teach them modern battle strategy, teach them the foundations of royal rule and how flimsy it is. People might talk funny in the past, but power still relies on more or less the same foundations as today, namely weapons and money. The monarchy will send an army and they will attempt to make you dead. You can't win against that however clever you are. So instead, incite revolution. Most of the monarchs of the time retain their power by the threat of violence and the promise that God put them there by divine right. Invent Gutenberg's printing press decades before Gutenberg, begin churning out pamphlet after pamphlet laying out the embarrassing secrets he of the He just told us to invent the printing press. ...production, cure people of basic ailments, move you and your followers to a remote patch of the countryside, declare it independent, give it a flashy name, perform miracles every now and then, card tricks will go down really well probably, people haven't seen them before in Europe, have your followers track down the finest engineers of the day, I would recommend Filippo Brunelleschi and Guido de Vigivano. Begin constructing basic steam engines. Use them to pump clean water up from the ground for all your mates and followers. Have an elaborate underground temple built for you. Disappear inside with your time machine. Only let your spokesperson come out and give orders. Leave behind extremely specific instructions about how to begin the industrial revolution early and grow your army and maintain your future empire and design good irrigation. Finally, have a very basic periscope constructed and stick it out the top of your temple. So let's travel a few decades into the future and see how everything is going. Slowly accelerate the passage of time. Day and night will begin to pass visibly in front of you until the sun appears a single golden line across the twilight sky. The okay. seasons fleeting by in seconds. The fevered commotion of insects no more than a blur. Then the flurry of passers-by outside, of generations waxing and waning, of great structures built in your name. The fingerprints of science and philosophy born long before its time. The drumbeat of industry coming alive. The development of modern medicine, of scientific materialism, of the mastery of nature. Of the acknowledgement of the right of all humans to exist in a state of international equanimity. The dawn of an age where millions need not die of disease, of hardship, of war. You steer humanity now. There have been leaders and thinkers and sages throughout history, but none of them had your advantages. Now you can refashion history in the image of dignity and kindness and universal concern for every human alive, and all of it presided over by you, half human- I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. I would have, I would have just popularized awesome sex, and then I would have left immediately. In reason. How infinite in faculty. In apprehension, how like a god. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have changed not a god society technically, because people can still revolt against you and you can't do anything about it. So let's try a few changes in tactic. To protect your master plan, direct technology towards absolute surveillance of the population, towards a perfect political science, towards total hegemony. If you want to help humanity, you'll need to live a long time, so order your scientists to research a cure for aging. Drop by to collect the rewards of the new sciences and become immortal. Enhance yourself with electronic augmentation. The problem with humanity? Too much freedom and leisure time. Remove both. Ban books. Ban mass communication. Rule undisputed. Technology in your left hand, power in your right. Now, Dropping in on. occasionally to make alterations or dispense oh. great justice and retribution in the name of peace. Shepherd humans out to the local planets, establish colonies, then spread out to the stars. Create a galactic empire, rule with imperious malice, lest humanity revert back to its bad habits. There'll be no love except the love of you. There'll be no art, no literature, no science. Total domination, unimaginable power, unlimited rice pudding. Who could stand in your way now? Who would fucking dare as monarch of the galaxy, as pilot of history, as god emperor of time? Darling, I'm just putting the kettle on. Do you want some? Oh, for fuck's sake. What does that say on the door, mum? 25 meters swimming certificate for... No, the, the other one. Don't come in, recording. Right, so... Well, sorry, I just wanted to know if you nah, wanted a couple... too late. I've lost my whole... Megalomaniac shtick. Just Earl Grey and milk, no sugar. And can you. Can you bring the special biscuits in, please? Okay. Lovely. Yeah, no, his new videos are not like that at all. Now his new videos are just. I really don't even know. They're not. Milk and tea? What the fuck? Yeah, you put a little bit of you put a little bit of milk and tea sometimes if it's the, if it's a stout tea, if it's a black tea, and it kind of goes well. You ever had a chai tea? Sometimes you put a little bit of cream in it. Yeah, it just adds texture to it. It changes the flavor up a little bit. Cry about it. Suck my nuts. There's no mods in here. None of these videos have been approved. There's eleven of them in the queue. Uh oh. Stinko. Um, remove some of the bitter. Yeah, if your tea is a little bit bitter, you're doing them. Okay. I, we, we will wait. Do you guys want to see, um, you guys want to see what I did on Terraria? Nah, you don't care. Never mind. You don't give a shit. 
Can I even do anything? Am I even allowed to do anything? These vids are long as fuck. Yeah, some of them look pretty long. Yeah, here, I'll just show you my I'll show you my base. Or not my base. I'll show you um my progress that I made on Terraria while I was off stream. I didn't do a whole lot different. I've mostly been just trying to like achievement hunt a little bit, the ones that I'm missing, but I wanted to save this for stream. I got the fucking desert key for, for like the dungeon chest and uh, I can open it now. I don't know where it's at actually in the dungeon. I should go find it. Gary's Mod 5 oh, is a fighting hack and slash game where you play as a single family of Video Nirvana update. backup singers and their detachable appendages, struggling to stop mankind's ultimate foes, Virgin and Urinate, who are peaceful environmentalists attempting to grow a tree in their yard. You play as our intrepid heroes, Dante Inferno, Nero Claudius, and the Roman numeral 5, as they attempt to run their small business amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Times are tough, but fortunately, Nero is forklift certified. Along the way, you will encounter testicular torsion, skeletons, famous YouTuber critical, the realization that you left the stove on downstairs and Dark Souls PvP. But with enough tenacity, strength, cunning, and force of will, I will be able to tell you about what happens in the game with remarkable accuracy. Because who would want to play Devil May Cry 5? That would be stupid. So sit, lie back, and clap, enjoy, see, video, run, relax, and enjoy an incorrect summary of Noise Level High 5. Our story begins with Nero here in his garage tending to his new Lamborghini. While faced with the acquisition of knowledge, Nero finds a small man standing outside. What is that music? Wait, what the fuck? So he steals his whole arm in one quick motion. Then he uses the arm to go to the Fuda dimension. That way he can never be seen again. So like a week passes and now the big tree exists. This is a completely unrelated incident soon to be resolved as the now one-armed Nero and his new friend Five are already inside of it. The two head forward into a dungeon, remarking how Dante invited them over for a picnic when suddenly Nero spots a letter from the Demon King Urizen. Reading the letter, it specifies that the Koopalings in him have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom and that Dante Dante is now a permanent guest at one of his seven Koopa hotels. Nero begins traversing the Walmart garden section when he encounters a bee. Thinking quickly, Nero just shoots the bee since guns work and are the most effective means of self-defense. You must head on without me, Nero. My bird is crashing. You're what? Fucking Vista. Nero shoots through his enemies until he reaches the throne room of Urinate. He finds Dante passed out, and Urinalysis, like every true blooded American, is in his Fox News chair. With no other options, Nero forces Urinoscopy to shift from beating up old people to beating up cripples. Who are you people? Why are you in my house? Please leave immediately or I will have to. Round two. So Uridine punches them to death and the Mario brothers are forced to escape. Nero's only recourse now is to hopefully get strong enough to grow a new arm and live to challenge Uridemic again. Kylo Ren, however, is just a fucking pussy who's not going to do anything. Even after the tree eats everyone, he's just like, I'll fucking do plants grow. So like another week passes and now Nero is being driven by a woman, a terrible mistake. As if to spite Nero, she drives <laughs> intentionally into a group I think, of I think the video could end there. I think the video could end there. I, I, think, I think I don't need to be watching that guy's uh, video essay video. <laughs> I don't think I need to be watching his video essay on um on that. I think I think that uh that's a little uh, it's a little niche for stream. It doesn't really fit in the, within the theme of um I don't know what I even I, what I was supposed to be doing really. I just I don't know. I don't, I don't You you guys should go watch that guy's channel. Is that Maxer? Cool. Here, I was going to show you uh what I did in Terraria. Um I Look, here, I made an AFK farm. I got the fucking desert key, you silly little bitch. I got the fucking desert key for the goddamn desert chest, and now I just need uh to find it. Not full screen? True. Oh, there's the desert chest. Celestial desert tiger staff. Cool. Okay. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll take that chest now. All right, well, that was it, basically. Um, tune in next time for even more. Uh, hold on, actually. I want to see what this fucking thing looks like. So the Desert Tiger Staff, the reason I farm for it is because it's a summon. Uh, summons a white tiger to fight for you. But the different thing about this summon as opposed to other summons is he just actually only gets better as... Uh, at, only this one guy. Like, you can't summon more. So that's one, two, three... Four, now he's bigger. Five. 
Six. I don't think I. Seven. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that guy. Hell yeah. Look at him. Cool. I don't know. I have no idea what he does. Holy shit. What? He just mur he just like flies around and murders things just by him. I don't know. I kind of thought he'd be a shit summon. Is he really good? There's no way this summon's really, 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 like really good, right? It doesn't seem like it could be good. So if I stand here, there he comes. Just absolutely rolling in. Holy shit! Holy shit! He's insane! Okay, well. Uh, he does a lot of damage. That's interesting. I'm seeing 400, 399, 438, 163. He does quite a bit of damage. That comboed with my Morningstar, my new whip, doing 275. I didn't even get to hit him. Wow, that's awesome. But yeah, uh, I just want to show you guys that because I, I grinded that out. I set up that AFK farm and I kind of just sat there for three hours um, periodically checking in. That's why I like Summoner. Anyway, we can go back to the uh, the stuff we were doing before. Whoop, boop. This prompts the greatest crit sequence known to mankind. No. Can summons even crit? Um, with the Morning Star, it actually allows your summons to do crit damage by hitting them. They can do crit. And I think that that tiger may be able to do crit, but I know that with the morning star it applies uh, it applies crit chance. Because summons normally can't crit. Critterus. Um here I come. Yeah, I come. Um. Yeah. There's 11 videos in the queue, but they're not. They didn't get approved. So I don't know if they're, um, if they're safe. Um. I think you're oh. right, Biz. I'm gonna get some dry bags, and I think there's like this thing called a Yeti sidekick, and it's like a little waterproof, like fanny pack. Twitter, you should post a receipt and be like, yo, I can't wait to get this. And it just says Yeti sidekick, <laughs> sidekick. And then when you get it, it's just you wearing a fanny pack and being like, what the fuck is this gay shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. I thought I was going to get a sweet Yeti. <laughs> yeah. Can... Where's my little buddy at? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Trying to make it to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's. Oh, they have to be. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would need to understand. Why didn't you kill me that day? Weren't you gonna break our bond? Sasuke! The reason is simple. It's not that I couldn't break it, Naruto. Like me, you may be one of the few who can use Mangekyo Sharingan, but there is a catch. Take the life of your best friend. You must kill him. I just couldn't stand the idea of obtaining power by following in his footsteps. I spared your life on a whim. Nothing more. That was really good. Just to set the record straight, I do wash my clothes. Do you guys want to share question? Um if 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 the trend is going to be you guys sharing like oh, I'm sorry. like video essays or Sorry? Were you guys going for this spot? How awkward. It's for the- Anyway, I thought if I wear my hair up, I'll have that studious presidential look and survive the Jeep rides. 
This isn't an essay, never mind. I don't allow this one. Hey, Barbie. I'd rehearsed Holy what I would shit, say. that animation fucking calm, sucks. Cool, collected. Mr. Wexler, I want to talk to you about Shh. some... I think we found ourselves this year's anchor. Yes! <laughs> oh, hey. It's just... those words. Can I count on you? You're like the totally awesome level-headed kind-hearted glue that holds us all together. Glue speaking. I was shooting cheerleader practice and look what wandered into my shot. Why were you shooting cheerleader practice, Kevin? Uh... I'm just saying we don't have to be together every second. Well. Oh, Todd. Huh? Uh. I don't think I can do this, even if it is cringe. It's like, it's it's cringe, and then there's like the meta cringe that it's it's so cringe that I can't even enjoy it. Maybe it's missing the meta cringe, actually. It needs the meta cringe for me to be able to. I've got Canada in my pocket. A little bit of history A penny and a nickel and a quarter and a dime mean a lot to you and me Ooh. It's more than pocket money They're the symbols of our land They're pictures of important things for which this country stands Okay Alright, Maple the Leaf The Maple Leaf, the Maple Fucking Leaf leave. Is a beautiful sight to see it waves hello to us below from the branch of a maple tree and with every year that passes it grows like you and me so should we all grow straight and tall like the lovely maple tree i've got canada in my pocket a little bit of history a penny and a nickel and a quarter and a dime mean a lot to you and me it's more okay, than I don't, i'm not listening to the whole canada song Wait, is the same guy? I'm not going to get these references. Analysis. I believe the island is straight ahead, sir. It looks like the target is waiting on the beach. Well, I'll be Dan. Private. Yes, Skipper. Target has been sighted on the beach. Double time to that island. Actually, Skipper, the swim seems kind of long. I'm not sure if we have the budget for this. God damn it, you're right. Rico, transition. Kowalski, status report. <laughs> He's still refusing to train us, sir. The sooner you agree to train us, old man, the sooner the pain ends. Fuck you, penguins! <laughs> I refuse! You may think you're tough, old man, but everyone has a breaking point. Rico! <laughs> it's not the first time I've seen a gun. Oh, really? Then perhaps something you've never seen. Rico! <laughs> Dear Christ! Dear Christ! All right! All right, I'll train you! Mission accomplished, boys! So first, you place your hands together, you gather energy at a concentrated He's point, yanking his and then expel it forward in a concentrated burst. At the same time, you clench your ass cheeks as hard as you can, and you scream Kamehameha. Fascinating. And then? Then people die. Incredible! Such a fantastic technique. Grab it! I'm doing the Kamehameha, Skipper! Wait! Wait! You should probably try that outside! Right, okay. You don't want me to remove the chip now, Commander. Oh. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you <laughs> to surrender that AI. <laughs> no, sir. Arrest that man! Arrest him! What? <laughs> I'm ordering you to surrender that AI! <laughs> funny. Actually funny. 
actually funny. I like that. I'm a Halo guy. Me in the mirror every morning. Me in the mirror every single morning. Discord admin? Let me, uh, let me readjust this box a little bit so we can get some better light. Look at this, right here. Look at that right there. Right there. Holy shit, is that a bee? Right there. there she is. Got her. <laughs> yep, almost got stung. Look at that. Here's my queen. Ain't even shook it and got my queen. Hang on. I know y'all. I know y'all want to see this. I only got one hand. Only got one hand. What do you mean? Man, I'm sorry you're getting blacked out, but hey. You do you, do you literally only own one hand? Boom! Did you not I get another the queen one? Queen already in there. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. I cannot believe that. Now watch this. Here we go. Alright, sorry for all the shaky shaky, man. When you ain't got all your camera equipment, you get a phone call for a swarm. You gotta shake them. Let's uh, let's go ahead now. We're just gonna we ain't got a choice but to enjoy the march. Yeah, he lost that, the other uh, one to all the all the bees. That's unfortunate. Oh, I hope they're not gonna be mad at me. I mean, when I shake, I uh, me. oh god. One. Oh fuck you! You're a maniac. Two, You're a fucking insane man. Three. You're a psycho. You're. Those are bees. That's a oh, pile cow. of bees. That's just a bunch oh. of bees. Waterfall of bees going over there. Holy oh, yeah, shit! Bees. Like fucking oh, yeah, skittles. Are we on top of your truck? Ooh, they're pissed. Yeah, they're mad. Where's the queen? You smell like I smell her. Ooh. Dang. That is, just, I, shaky video. is that the queen? Hang on. There we go. B M P three. MP three sound effect. <laughs> you, did you recognize it? I, I think you do need to illuminate all of them. Okay, okay. At once. We gotta go back. Let's just go ahead and truck it back they, to look they, how silly this is. Are they gone? You have to like do- Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Aaron, don't leave. Aaron, don't- Aaron! I love you! No, I'm fucking done! I'm fucking done! <laughs> no, you're not! Is this bullshit! I'm gonna go <laughs> This fucking bullshit! I can't, I can't get off! What is this? I can't get off! What is this? I'm stuck! What is my This life? is so <laughs> old. I can't do it, John! I can't either! I can't fucking do it! This is such an old you video. Are. You can give up now, or you can pay it up, because I certainly can't do it without you, and I know you can't do it without me. I appreciate it, but look what we're dealing with, man. <laughs> Aaron! You gotta draw the line somewhere. Aaron, we you gotta draw a fucking line in the sand, dude. <laughs> Aaron, we you gotta make a statement. You gotta look inside yourself and say, what am I willing to put up with today? Not fucking this! I'm all! I'm Superman! I believe I can fly! I think both of us got a little heated. I mean, we should apologize to each other. It's because we're in a lava stage, dude. <laughs> you True. just come back all calm! It's because we're in a lava stage. Dude. <laughs> wow. That's so long ago. I need to eat you.
if you guys want to send in videos exclamation point media share on the donation page minimum one dollar uh one penny per second there's a youtube link box you can put in any youtube video there you can even denote like at what timestamps you want it to start and end um but yeah if you want to do that there's a few videos left in the queue but i think i'm, I think I'm gonna shut it down soon so if you want to get those requests in go ahead if you would like if you would like of course I'm just gonna start approving these, hopefully my- oh. What up, ding-dongers? What's up, you meme-loving fuck? I'm just chilling. Just chilling. It ain't nothing but a thing, you know what I'm saying? And stream, no you. Probably got fucking slapped for that mistake she just made. She made she Is this the same little girl or is it a different child? These are different children. Yeah, surely these children learned this through positive reinforcement. Okay, sorry, for a brief moment, I just want to talk about how different cultures from across the world all invented music on their own, right? However, different cultures picked a different middle note. And it's a different note when you look at all the different cultures. India, they use all different sorts of scales. China, they use all different sorts of scales. Japan even, they use different scales. That's why you can't fucking, it's, it's, I, I, I love, I love, it's so cool. It's a different fucking feel entirely. Not only are there different, it's it's like it's like different scales have different meanings, but different fucking musical spheres have all different scales. Like all different notes. Every single scale is different from any other scale you've ever heard. That's so cool. That's cool, dude. Freestyle over this music? No. Western. In Western music, middle C is at like 440 cents. That's like the center. I think it's 440, 404, 444, 410, something like that. Someone look up what exact tuning middle C is at in Western music. Oh, that's middle A. 440 is A. What is C? We'll go on to the next question. You, sir. Uh, my name's Steven. Uh, I'm a junior, and my question's for Will McAvoy. Do you consider yourself a Democrat, a Republican, or an Independent? I consider myself a New York Jets fan, Stephen. <laughs> Since it's been brought up, you've almost religiously avoided stating or even implying a political allegiance. Is that because, as a news anchor, you feel the integrity of your broadcast would be compromised? Hello. That sounds like I a good like answer. Money. I'll take it. <laughs> there was a short piece on Vanity Fair's website uh, by Marshall Westbrook, you probably saw it, where he calls you the Jay Leno of news anchors. You're popular because you don't bother anyone. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Jealous of the size of Jay's audience. Are you willing to say here tonight whether you lean right or left? I voted for candidates run by both major parties. Let's move on to the next question. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm a sophomore, and this is for all three of you. Can you say in one sentence or less what? <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Diversity and opportunity. Lewis? Uh, freedom and freedom. So let's keep it that way. Uh... Will? The New York Jets. <laughs> No, I'm going to hold you to an answer on that. 
what makes America the greatest country in the world. I've seen this speech. I just remember now. He goes, he starts spitting. Well, he starts spitting Lewis and Sharon said it. Diversity and opportunity and freedom and freedom. You don't look satisfied. I want a human moment from you. What about the people? Why is America Not the greatest, the greatest country in the world, Professor. That's my answer. You're saying... Yes. You're... Let's talk about... Fine. The... Sharon, the NEA is a loser. Yeah, it accounts for a penny out of her paycheck, but he gets to hit you with it anytime he wants. It doesn't cost money. It costs votes. It costs airtime and column inches. You know why people don't like liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so fucking smart, how come they lose so goddamn always? Hey. And with a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. So 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. And one of them is Peace. there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force and number four in exports we lead the world in only three categories number of incarcerated citizens per capita number of adults who believe angels are real and defense spending where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined 25 of whom are allies now none of this is the fault of a 20 year old college student but you nonetheless are without a doubt a member of the worst period generation period ever periods so when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world i don't know what the fuck you're talking about yosemite Sure used to be. We stood up for what was right. We fought for moral reasons. We passed laws, struck down laws for moral reasons. We waged wars on poverty, not poor people. We sacrificed. We cared about our neighbors. We put our money where our mouths were, and we never beat our chest. We built great big things, made ungodly technological advances, explored the universe, cured diseases, and we cultivated the world's greatest artists and the world's greatest economy. We reached for the stars, acted like men. We aspired to intelligence. We didn't belittle it. It didn't make us feel inferior. We didn't identify ourselves by who we voted for in the last election, and we didn't, we didn't scare so easy. Th this, was, this was easier there to watch in 2012. You are traveling safely. We were able to be all these things and do all these things because we were informed. To eight months of cooming. By great men, men who were revered. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. Pee my pants. America is not the greatest country in the world anymore. And we don't get any closure on the rest man of the clip. man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me That's true. questions. That's true. I mean, we do a lot of that presuming from, here uh, in the United like a 2012 States Council General. It comes with Come. the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? <laughs> there is your mama in a box. Oh. He's right. Oh, please. Scout. I am blind. That man is blind. No. Incoming. <laughs> Thanks for your Which one of you is this dispenser? This spy? No, I'm just a normal spy. You are stupid spy! Uh, soldier! Huh? Help capture point! Yes! Come here, 
Captain. Oh. Ain't that a cute little gun? Oh yeah. Oh. 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 That's where books get you, Professor. Sorry to box in. There is your mama in a box. What? Edible ain't shit. A smile. Fisting is three hundred bucks. Having a good time. Yes, I'm having a good video titled Freddie Mercury gets trapped in the slide and calls out for his mama. Oh, mama. Ooh, caught in a slide. No escape from reality. Ah. Hey, hey, hey! He would have, he, yeah, he, he probably would have thought that was funny. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Too many, too many of them. I, I laugh at it. It doesn't, if you show someone something and they laugh at it, you don't have to keep showing them that thing. They liked that thing though. But it's not their favorite now. That being said, I'm gonna start skipping SFM videos for the remainder of the stream. Oh, also we watched this on stream, sorry. We watched that whole video on stream. Um, is this a whole ass SCP? About the reality vendors? Good afternoon, everyone. A whole SCP video. I'm Dr. Miller. And um, today we're not going to be covering a specific anomaly but rather a broader type of anomaly that we at the Foundation have observed over the years. This anomaly has many names, but the most common term adopted by Foundation researchers is Reality Bender, or Type Greens, by GOC operatives. The following document, seized by Mobile Task Force Delta-5, is part of a larger case file on the Global Occult Coalition. This, 15 minutes. this section is an excerpt from a publication entitled Physics Division Field Manual 13, Special Circumstances, Humanoid Threat Entities. Type Green, Reality Bender. Introduction. Reality Benders, Type Greens, have a certain mystique among GOC operatives. Some operatives even argue that it is impossible to terminate a Type Green, and that it is suicide to even try. The kill record of our organization says otherwise. The key to terminating Type Green entities lies in finding and taking advantage of their few weaknesses. In 95% of cases, Greens cannot predict the future and can be taken by surprise, have limited range and cannot affect what they cannot perceive, they cannot impose their will on anything if they have no will to impose, and have human foibles that can be manipulated emotionally and or rationally. Sequence. 99% of Type Greens undergo the following sequence of psychological changes as their powers progress. Phase 1. Denial. The subject refuses to acknowledge their ability to warp reality. The Type Green will attempt to rationally- you've been hit by, you've been struck by, struck by. Nice. Nice, that was a good meme. Thank you for sending that. Oh, 
banana oatmeal. Yeah, it's because I'm off to the side, ketamine. I can't, like, if I sit over here, it focuses on the. Even sing a song. Shoddy's like a melody in. Yes, sir. Get us the blazes out of here. Succinct. Give me a moment. Still yeah. yeah. suck. Newsflash. Not for ah! Counter Strike uh, <laughs> next song, to be specific. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Fucking Ray. Dude, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Ever? Ray was a foot away I, from I me. I didn't see it. So in the the viewer didn't see it. Ow. His giggles. He shot me in the anus. Okay. Man and girl go out to drive under moonlight. They stop at on at a side of road. He turn to his girl and say, Baby, I love you very much. What is it, honey? Our car is broken down. I think the engine is broken. Ill walk and get some more fuel. Okay, ill stay here and look for our stereo. There have been news report of steers being stolen. Good idea. Keep the doors locked, no matter what. I love you, sweaty. So the guy left to get full for the car. After two hours, the girls say, Where is my baby? He was supposed to be back by now. Then the girl hear a scratching sound. 
and a voice say, Let me in. The girl doesn't do it, and then after a while she goes to sleep. The next morning she wakes up and finds her boyfriend still not there. She gets out to check, and man, door, hand, hook, car, door! really good writing i didn't see that last part coming it's a good twist um oh oh it seems we have burnt through all of the